Hey, Green Donafly here. Just wanted to um, have an update on, well, the, this channel, and I'm starting a new army. As you can see, Chaos Space Marines. I have the Thousand Suns theme. I like them, and I also like the Night Lords. Might be one, might be getting them. I've already painted up all these guys here. I got my Chaos Sorcerer and or Lord. It's pretty awesome. Got my Possessed. I'll probably play them as Chosen though. Each one of them is a Sergeant of the Squad. It's a cool little sword. Then I got my nine, or yeah, nine guys with this. With also the Champion Sorcerer. Just wanted to show you guys that work in progress. Another update, I just wanted to ask for help. I'm going to another tournament, but this time with my Tyranids instead of Orcs. And I was going to tell you my army and ask for any advice because I really don't think this is going to be a great army. This is not exactly what I have. It's a 1,500 point army. I have a squad of 30 Hormigons. Uh, this, is, this is just, uh, I didn't want to get all my models out, but 30 Hormigons. A smaller squad of, um, 20, 24 Hormigons. Oh, 26 Hormigons. And my prime is my main HQ, be leading the squad of 30. Have two squads of 8 Yimgarl Gene Stealers. So they're be like popping out. They're gonna be like the pin, the pin of my army. I have a squad of 10 Termagons to make my Termagon a troop choice. Have two hive guard and a trigon. Now I do have around 40 points. I could easily take down two or one hormigon. Two or one hormigon. I can either add another hive guard, or make this guy a prime. The tournament is November 20th, so I'd like an answer before then because I really have no idea what to do. And also, if you think this is an army or not, I am calling out for anyone who plays tier and has any advice in any way. If there's, if you think there's a better army, I do have a hive giant with wings so that if you think I could somehow put that in I'll have to take out I try to make an army like that I wouldn't have this guy and or those guys so I'd have the, everything else basically the same but he wouldn't he wouldn't have anything shooty so he would have to just he couldn't really help taking out planes except for vector strike which is pretty good but I wanted to show you my army I need some help in deciding what I should do because I feel like these guys will probably get crushed they're just not as good as the orcs with a big mob but please help me out and uh yeah one last video guys i just wanted to tell you what the tactics behind the army was so you could see why i picked it started out with the hq my prime he's kid out with a bone sword and a lash whip and um scything talons with uh uh, toxin sacks, so he can wound anything on a 4 plus and reroll wounds. He can reroll ones. I, with him, he's gonna be running with the Hormigons. Give them, like, roll, you know, roll one at a time, try to make some 3 plus armor saves. And he'll be challenging everything, basically. Anything and everything, unless it's, like, somehow strength 10, I might not. And if it's faster than me, well, Whiplash will always make me go faster than him. Unless I'm somehow fighting Banshees. And if I am, I will still challenge, even if I'll let the XR go first. But, um, so that's the tactics behind him. He'll be helping boosting this from taking saves and challenging any HQ. My bones are trying to insta-kill them if they fail their leadership if I put a wound on them. Hormigons are just to move up, run, and hopefully eat shots, but try not to eat, eat all of them and die. Try not to die. Um, try to get into assault as fast as possible. If I, if, and this guy, he'll be, his traits will always be personal traits. So I can either get like, if I can get outflanked, that's the one I'm going for each game. So I can outflank, that'd be amazing. Or any, just anything. That'd be really awesome. One plus to like, charge and all that stuff. Turvagon, he will be, if there's any objectives, and there are all of them, but one are objectives, so he's ri he got a boost in this. He's going to be capturing midfield objectives because he's big and tough, and he's going to be spawning babies, and he's going to be make they're going to go back. 
capturing ones in my deployment, putting like when I put them in terrain. So even if they fail the leadership or their instinctive behavior, they're still just in that cover save, capturing that place. While my ten hormigons will probably just be protecting this guy, also capturing or staying back, capturing another place. Hormigons might at the end try to capture a place, but mostly just moving up to get into assault. Got my hive guard. They're gonna either try to take out any tanks if there are, and if not, they're just gonna try to they're just gonna waste their shots shooting at planes because this guy I know there's gonna be planes there. Trying to take them out. Hopefully, roll a six. They did got they take away a lot of cover saves. So if there are any tanks, I'm gonna be just destroying them. Got my two squads of Yim Gojins. These guys are where where my army really is. Two squads of eight. My, how they work is they have dormant. And if you're tuning play, you know how this works. Uh, after both sides are deployed, which is the big part, after so both sides are deployed. So I, even if I go first or second, I still get to know where he is, and then right down where they're gonna come out. I'm probably not gonna pick one right in front of his base because he might move into there. And if they come out and they can't be placed and they count as destroyed, that wouldn't be fun. Probably put them like a terrain piece back. Because they can move out of their terrain piece and assault, so the FAQ said. And they have moved through cover, so they're just going to move through that terrain. It doesn't matter. And they have fleet, rending, they, and they can use, they can get the altar form right before Overwatch, so I can get toughness 5 if I need to, right before Overwatch. So it won't, even if they hit, they won't wound me. We've got Trigon, which will also be important. He's going to be most likely deep striking at all times, coming up in inside the base. Hopefully, right with with the uh, Yamagal gene stealers. So when they come up, they'll be assaulting something that shoots in any way or form. So he won't be shot. So he can stand in and shoot his six shots, trying to kill something, or just standing there. Uh, he also will be giving catalyst to one of the Hormigon squads at all times. Pop. I might, I might get try to maybe get the. Uh, I might think about biomancy powers, two biomancy powers, but I really I don't think so, because there's only one that does funeral pain. All the other ones is basically help himself, and he's not the one that needs help. So the hormigons. Thing is that's really hurting me is that even if I give these guys funeral pain, strength six or above, it's just gonna take it away. It's not that much strength six, but it's just it's gonna take it away, and they're already like really bad armor saves. They're just gonna be probably blown away most of the times. Just as good as my custom force field, but I do have a lot of less points. I have this is only 1466, right? All of all I've said. I can take away two hormigons from like a the small squad or the big squad and get another hive guard. So I'd have um, six shots shooting at like one plane, most likely get one hit averagely, and then probably try to take it out. Or I can get this guy, and that would be the tactics if I did that. Six shots. If they can only get twin lanes, that'd be so much better. Now would this guy give him um, prime, so he shoots 12 shots when he comes in, and he's shot on the warp. So like if something like some kind of big psychic power guy is there, I can just put him right there, 12 inches, and just try to just stop him. But I, I'm leaning towards this because I know there's gonna be planes there. You know, psychers, I don't really care that much about. So I think I'm going to do this, but like I said, any other tips, I'm calling for the Tyranid players of YouTube to answer these questions until November 20th, when after that it's obsolete. If I need help, give me any advice. I'd like to put a Tyranid hive time, but I just don't have enough points to put that in, 1,500 points. I think I'm just going to go with this, but if anyone can give me a better thing than this, I'll, I'll probably take it. Thank you.